we got green red monsters coming out here at the bottom so be be on the lookout on the bottom corner of this screen or the bottom half of this screen for Jason to be bringing the green red pain the, the pain yeah and uh looks like Mason is playing good old-fashioned soul tie control one of his personal builds went woodshedding on this one hmm. so, are we live or I mean are we we recording? are recording right okay, now so yeah we're... absolutely all right Green red monsters, man. You know what? You know one thing about meta in games I don't, I don't generally enjoy is there the players that flock to the meta. Yeah. Right. But oh, I yeah. mean, what do you do? I mean, you, you play quite a bit of, and have played quite a bit of competitive Magic. You get that meta level, green red monsters, and you just see so many people running that. Do you play green red monsters? Do you try to beat the meta? I mean, uh, I personally don't like to jump on any bandwagons. Sure. You know, anything like that, but I mean, all decks got weaknesses. So sure. Just play. I mean, play you get you get that you can, is what I do. Right. <laughs> you, you get in there the quick enough, you take green red monsters, right? So you yeah. just try to rush them. Yeah. I mean, control them out. I mean, this is a pretty good matchup. Let's see. I think that. Uh, did Mason Mulligan? I think that he did. Okay, guys. You know the rules. Whenever let's level ups in the house, there's absolutely zero mulligans allowed. Oh, Ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think that Jason's on the milk plane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's great? You, you, one of the things I don't like about mulliganing, right? Besides the fact that you've already admitted defeat. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> is the fact that you have your opponent on the other side of the table just sitting there like this. You see Jason, his arms are crossed, he's got his deck just laid there, ready to go. His confidence is boiling off Jason's Whenever side. you're ready. I don't even have to look at this starting hand. He's I'm looking at the cards. He's like, <laughs> I got this. <laughs> Alright, we're all. Right, Temple of Deceit played, huh? Red, green, finch, Jason. Still curated. Turn two. Fetch to a mountain. Ugh. That's another thing that drives me crazy. Just cut the guy's deck. Huh. There's no need to reshuffle his deck. There has been, uh, in the high level competitive magic, there's been, uh, Shuffle gate. There's been a lot of players got a banned for four years for. Yeah, for I saw shuffle. that here you recently. Yeah, yeah you know what? I just watched the movie Rounders as well with uh, uh, with Dude, Matt Damon. Like yeah, I don't like Matt Damon. I've been that they've been doing they've been doing shuffle gate for a long time. Yeah. He just finally got around. If you guys are those types of players that need to cheat to play a game. Um, get a different hobby, for sure. Look who's talking. What? <laughs> Every game I play, I, I approach it with the utmost sincerity and honesty. I, I bear my soul to the game, it bears its soul back to me. And together, we make wonderful experiences. That sounds nasty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Two wild bears in the woods. So since my uh, since my diatribe, we've got some more lands out. Oh, we can find walkers in a goose. Zinigos is a nasty planeswalker. Do I understand what you're 
I do. I think they started playing whenever Xenagos came out. <laughs> Have the uh, panda token out, ready to kick some butt, mm. eat some bamboo. Yeah. That's another great game that I like board game. The Technoclus. It's a good game. I love it, yeah, that's a good one. Antoine Baza, he is a he is an absolute brilliant game designer and uh, you know one of the big ones. He has people in the industry who are their favorite designers. His name's never far from the top. Yeah. Yeah. That Jason Sharon dice, just good sportsmanship all around. Oh yeah. Good old fashioned Ashiok. Storm Breath Dragon out. Yeah. Targeted Ashia got him off the board. Uh, don't want to see that guy if you're playing a lot of big creatures. Right. So you get to play him for free, pretty much. Oh. Something big's coming out. Another, Another storm, storm breath dragon. So you're sitting in Mason's position right now. What are you looking for to stop this? Egg to God. Egg to God. <laughs> Stealing to fall in. <laughs> in earthquake is what I need. Eleven points of damage right there on the swing. And that prompted the scoop. Man. Initiate the scoop, please. Wow, so Jason bringing some heat out with his green red monsters. Relentless, me. You know, I think at the end of the day, we're going to see the top two are going to be two green red monsters players. You think so? I think so. I just call it a hunch. Just call it a hunch. Nice. I mean, there's enough of them out there yeah. that surely bad <laughs> the odds are in their favor just mathematically to get up there, I think. Did you? Uh, the last person that you talked to, Johnson Williams, was he playing Green Red Monsters? He's playing Green Red Monsters, yes sir. Yes sir, he is. Um, you know, he's a big fan of it. Um, he's he's very confident. Um, you know, being you know, uh, the War Dogs Gaming Magic coach. Yeah. So he's got that. He's got that title to throw around. Pretty good player. Very good player, actually. Yeah, I remember um, about the time I stopped Friday Night Magic stopped coming as often or really the last time I went was one of the one of the, when he first started coming yeah he scared me out of town Dang. I saw him I, I like, didn't hey, know they could scare Ricky the kid out of town I don't want any part of this guy my starter deck of power can only do so much <laughs> against the green red monsters Silence. And all these guys are sideboarding. No witty banner going on right now. Yeah, no, no, no barbs either. I would expect. Um, you know, if I if I had won the first game like that and caused the guy to scoop. Oh yeah. He would never hear the end of it. No. Just like that. 
Of course, that's why I'm not allowed to play Magic anymore. This is cool. I mean, as far as I know, this is the first time that our city has had an event like this. I think so. Yeah, I don't remember any other time. I mean, maybe, maybe ten years ago. But I would think that if we had competitive level magic at this, at this, at this level, yeah, then we would have been doing it. We would never stop, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I would think so. So this is great, man. You guys are doing good work here. You know, not just for yourselves, but for for everybody, for the community. We could talk about the community for a second. Okay. It's a good community. I like this. I could actually, I could, I could take them or leave them. I don't. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> <laughs> it's no, but you guys. Um, I remember the first day I saw you guys moving in. Yeah. I was driving somewhere, maybe to work or something like that, and I almost got in a wreck because I saw the sign, the, the gaming stuff in the window, and I slammed on my brakes right there at the intersection, and just stopped and marveled at the window. You, you know, we've actually been open one year already. That's Has it been crazy. a year already? It's been a year. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Lots of games played. Lots of games have played. So if you guys are interested in any sort of gaming and you're in the area and um, you're needing a place to play or look at it, come by Ward Dogs. They have the largest play space in town. Uh, monthly we do board game days and we bring out all kinds of stuff from my personal collection for people to check out and enjoy. Um, they've got a bunch of demo stuff here as well if you're interested in looking at stuff. And uh, you know, one of the only places in town to sell singles. So yeah. Yeah, so if you're looking to uh, up your magic deck, come check out War Dogs. 101 Paint Rock Roads in Angela, Texas. Yeah, right up there in the corner. That's, that's us. Right there. You can click on it. You probably can't click on it. I'm probably Pro going to forget to do that. Probably not going to be. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but if I remember, you could click on there and it'll take you right to War Dogs' Facebook page. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> if I remember. Alright boys, I think those decks are plenty oh those shuffling each other's decks, I see. Yeah. You know, these shufflegate guys that are worried about something like that, I'd be worried about somebody shuffling my deck. And shufflegating me. Yeah. Well you're paranoid. But I am. I was I uh, had a bit of a head injury uh, growing <laughs> up and It hurts still, from time to time. <laughs> All right, life counters are set. It, Everything's already set, ready to go. Oh, we got Jason doing the mulligan. All right, well, Jason. No disrespect for you, sir, but uh, you get a wag on my finger. <laughs> no mulligans. No mulligans. <laughs> There's some magic guy out there today, and he's just magic mulligan's fine. There's, just, there's nothing wrong with it. If I don't get the hand I need. There, there are a lot of those champion mates going around, though. I've seen that quite a few of them out there on the tables. Everybody's got something to prove. Yeah. This is a big day. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of nerd testosterone going around right now. Yeah. And uh, it, it's it's exciting. It could be obnoxious at times, but it is exciting to, to have these guys excited about playing, right? And yeah. that's that's I think that's good for everybody in the long run. A guys coming in from out of town, and it's um, it's just cool to see. All right, we're going to be fetching. I'm, I'm assuming he's going to be looking for a mountain here. Both players very good about keeping their uh, their life totals both written down and on the dice. Thank you, fellas, for that. Looks like Jason's searching up the mountain. Oh, oh no, bring out a forest. He must have something handy to play, huh? Maybe. 
Maybe Sylvan here to return to. Jason here is one of the guys that helped design, I believe, Micah's deck that she was playing last game. So, thank you, Trevor. He's got a, he's got a bit of um, quite the brewer. Yeah, some some deck building expertise going on here. Slower start for both of these guys than I would expect. Well, Mason doesn't really. Uh, he's more of a reaction. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he's at this state. Looks like Jason probably brought that in. The bow, huh? Yep, he brought that in on the sideboard. Thinking Mason might be on the, uh, the mill plan. Take three cards. Oh, there's some land. The disruption that that card gives to Dex is just pain in the butt. Ashiok. Mm -hmm. yeah. You gotta love those full art lands. Oh, yeah. I was just about to say that Jason's Dex pretty beautiful looking. Mm -hmm. Storm Breath Dragon out. Looks like Ashok's gonna be out right here, huh? We'll see. Yeah, it looks like Ashiok's gone anyway. <laughs> Mason checking to see how many cards uh, Jason's got in his hand. It looks like he has one. Some passing turn. Getting a little crazy with the lands. Mm -hmm. You know, you can really appreciate the, the players that keep their graveyards and their exile piles and all their lands good order right when you're when you're watching <laughs> absolutely mm. about to start seeing some pandas come out this is where uh, this is where uh, Mason got trapped up last time. Should be able to take three more cards out of that deck though before Ashok's out of there.
looks like Mason was hoping for a storm breath yeah. back in there and did not get it. Unfortunately, but we know what he did do is increase the chance of drawing the storm breath dragon quite a yeah. bit. Every turn that goes by, he's just taking out these cards that are. It always seems that the storm breath dragons come in pairs, also. So. Make another panda. Looks like we've got some moving out there beside the feature table. like Mason yeah, didn't realize that the taking creature's head death, death touch, touch yeah. so. they're getting that from the uh, bow of Nylea mm -hmm. looks like the bow of Nylea was actually a really nice side but of course with uh, Jason keeping all of his attacks on that Ashiok it's, I mean I guess Mason's really not too worried. Mm -hmm. You play Drown and Sorrow right there. Play mistake from from Mason. It looks like. and pointing out that he only needed one of the pandas to take out Ashiok. Jason gonna gain a couple life here. the good old yeah. no cards in hand <laughs> sure. cards in hand zero but I'm still gonna find a way to win pandas it's Israel it's pandemonium it, it, it is man I like that yes not about them puns yeah <laughs> mm. Genesis had for sip and this is the <laughs> kind of looks like James is probably going to take this one a two zero. Mm. I'm thinking the same thing. You see what uh, Mason's got up in his hand right there? Uh, it looks like a soul tie charm, the dissolve. Drowning Sorrow, Heroes, Downfall, maybe two Dissolves in Soul Tide Charm. Jason making decisions here. Kind of Storm Breath Dragon. So this is pretty good uh, just tied to the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Armor Colossus, Sarthen, Stormbreath, Rebel Master. Usually when I cast those I get a three or four lands and that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> 
would like to see how the cards are actually supposed to work. It's pretty nice. Board state's pretty intimidating. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna hero's downfall there. Is that a hero's downfall? Hero's downfall. On the uh What did you target? While the uh Sarkin's ability was on the stake, kill the planeswalker. I see. Cat in the graveyard looks like he's looking for a dig through time maybe. Looks like Mason might need to draw another card. Maybe he drew seven. That looked like he drew six. Mm -hmm. Seems doing a lot of shuffling. I don't know. He can find the answers he's looking for. I think that uh, Mason looks like he's pretty much dead on board. Mm -hmm. Make a Seder token and swing all out. And that's it. Alright, so Jason takes that one too. Nothing. Just bringing in the heat with his green red monsters. Pistolero. Yeah. Mr. Jason Thornton just Take them down, man. Red, yep. green, red green monsters. Red green monsters for the win. So we'll be right back with uh, round three. Check it out the next video in this playlist.